I knew Paul personally, and uh, I got a text from him. And, <laughs> and it wasn't it wasn't like a "Will you be in my movie?" Send. It, it was like um, he basically said he was experimenting with this idea, and th which was the idea yeah. of whether or not to have a narrator at all. Um, and he wanted me to sort of help him play around with that idea. So he would send me fragments of narration that were just you know descriptive passages from the book and I would record them in my phone and send them back and he would send me new ones and we would sort of go back and forth and I think over the course of that at some point or other he decided he he did want to commit to that idea. I don't think he ever stopped um, writing in a way. I mean even just it was sort of even within his direction was kind of visual writing and editing and mm. he was um, allowed himself the possibility to change things. You know if a scene was outside maybe it's on the couch or mm. you know you reinterpret it this way and I feel like he really that was really inspiring to see. I don't see a lot of directors that get on set with like you know a 50-man crew behind them and huh. say you know I'm not gonna give you a shot or whatever. I mean, yeah. whatever. I'm sure that maybe he even did, but it was more just that you're like, he's just like, follow me, you know, trust me. To have him direct you is such a wild thing because he lets you play and he encourages you and it's not so much a directing like you have to do it this way. It's more so he just wants to see how um, actors organically mix together and how they play out their characters. It surprised me be, uh, that he didn't say like, this is exactly what I want. I need mm. you to do this. Um, he never made me feel like I wasn't living up to something. He always gave me confidence. For the latest from HitFix, visit HitFix.com or download the new HitFix app on your Roku device.